It is simply an unacceptable American strategy to seek in corporate taxation to win a race to the bottom rather than lead a cooperative effort to level taxation up and to assure that transfer pricing, location in cyberspace, or use of tax havens does not permit profitable corporations to avoid paying uh, taxes uh, to the jurisdictions in which uh, they operate. Similar things can be said about regulatory uh, races uh, to uh, the bottom. At the same time, in discussing international support efforts and collaboration with international institutions, it will be crucial to develop a line of thought that emphasizes that they are not acts of charity or acts of international comedy, but instead highly cost-effective forward defense of U.S. security and prosperity uh, interests. Just as we failed to coordinate globally and effectively in preparation for this pandemic, cyber risks for me loom as a, another Damoclean sword over the global system. We must demand that international financial regulators put these risks at the top of agenda and coordinate closely on practices and threat assessments. The Financial Stability Board recently issued a report, Effective Practices for Cyber Incidents Response and Recovery. This is a starting point for international collaboration, but we also can do more. And one thing we can do is make clear the US determination to join with our allies in retaliating strongly and promptly against state-sponsored cyber mischief, whether it comes from China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, or anyone else. One billion people in the developing world live more than two kilometers away from an all-season road and 940 million lack access to electricity. In principle, the combination of a boom in the developing world's working age population and a reallocation of savings from slower growing, growing rich countries to the financing of productive infrastructure investments in poor countries has the potential to alleviate the global savings glut and secular stagnation by boosting global growth and the return on savings in an aging rich world, delivering a positive sum outcome for the world economy, including a healthier climate if these infrastructure investments are, are climate, climate friendly.